So in this video, we're going to look at how to add the JavaScript library Suite Alert. So Rashid Ali has created a package for us that we can use. This makes including Suite Alert easy. So let's install this. This is pretty much a new install of Laravel that I've used in a previous video. So I'm just going to use this to show you. So to get the package, it's a composer require, and then it's real Rashid forward slash Suite hyphen alert. So once that has installed, we also need to publish the Suite Alert assets. So to do this, it's simply PHP artisan vendor colon publish dash dash provider equals real Rashid backslash Suite Alert backslash Suite Alert service provider. And this will copy over the assets needed by the Suite Alert library. So under resources, views, vendor, Suite Alert, we can see we have alert.blade.php and under public, vendor, Suite Alert, we can see we have the Suite Alert JS. Now we all need to do is include the Suite Alert into the views somewhere. So again, I'm just going to be doing this into the welcome.blade.php file. You need to put this somewhere where it will be globally included if you want to use it on all your pages. So if you have the default Laravel auth set up, then a good place for it would be under the resource, views, layouts, app.blade.php. So I'm just going to include it here. So it's a simple app include suite alert alert. And then that's all we need to do to get it included into our views. So because I don't have any controllers set up at the moment, I'm just going to do this in the roots file. But obviously, you'll be doing this with inside your controller methods where you need to set the alerts. So the first thing you need to do is bring in the alert facade. And you can do that by simply doing use real sheet backslash suite alert backslash facades backslash alert. And then you can just start doing the alerts. So before you return the review, you can just do alert and then the type of alert. So you can just do a plain alert, but you can also do a success, info, warning, error, question, image, or HTML. So let's have a look at the success one. So it's alert success, and then you give it a title. So I'm just giving this well done. And then the second parameter that it takes is the message. So I'm just going to put well done, you did it. Now let's refresh this page. And we see we get our title and our message. So again, you could do this as an error. So I'm just doing broken with a message of sorry, something went wrong. You can see we get the error style in this time with our title and message. So the others work in exactly the same way. You just obviously change this. So if you wanted the info or the warning like so. Now with all these alerts, we can also pass it in a position. So to do this, we just do an arrow and position and then tell it the position that we want it to show. So we can do top left, for example. Now let's just refresh and a notification shows in the top left. So we can also show a confirmation button. So let's just add this in. So it's show confirm button and we can set the button text and also the button color if we wanted to. So let's just set the text to OK. And there's a second parameter. We could pass it a color if you wanted to. Now let's refresh the page and you see we get the confirmation button. There's also a cancel button. This works in the same way as the confirm button. We can pass the text of the button and also a button color if we wanted to. You can see we get the cancel button instead. So we can add a cancel and a confirm button at the same time. So let's just show that. So we have a cancel button, forget it, and a confirm button, do it. And you see we get both the confirm and the cancel button. We can also use the toast function. So to do this, we just do two toast. Now let's view this in action. And you can see that gives us a little slide down. But we can mix that with the position as well if we wanted to. So here I'm just telling it to display in the position of bottom right. And you can see the toast now pops up in the bottom right. So we can also call toast by doing alert toast. And then we put the text of the toast in. So I'm just doing well done. And then the type of toast. So again, you've got success, info, warning, question, error. So I'm just going to do success for this. And as a third parameter, you can pass in a position. So let's do this one in the top left. Refresh the page. And you can see we get a nice little animation and our toast pops up in the top left. 